a warm welcome to one and all today it's my privilege to introduce you regarding a new venture which smec automation private limited is uh, planning to put forward to all of you see uh, first of all let me give a brief description about what smec is exactly doing smec is a private limited firm which was initiated in the year 2001 and uh, the main platform where in which when we have initiated was we are acting under different different sectors and our prime venture was into SMEC Marines. SMEC Marine Solution is a company which mainly cater to the different type of project which related to the shipyards in India. Not only in the shipyards in India, we also work in different shipyards outside India. Uh, to be precise, I could say that we work on the different projects in Cochin shipyard. We work on the projects in uh, Mangalore, Chennai, Goa, Karwar, Mumbai, Thane. As well as even we work on different projects which is being there in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Fujairah, Sharjah, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Paris. And even in Sri Lanka, we have our live projects which is being undertaken in the marine technology. And speaking about our latest technology, I could name something like uh, everyone would have heard about INS Vikramaditya which is a warship which we have uh, taken from Russia. And uh, SMEC CRG engineers, the core research group engineers, they mainly take care of the navigation system, instrumentation system, automation system, as well as the piping technology for the INS Vikramaditya. So SMEC Marine Solution is a company which mainly focuses on the marine projects. We work on the projects which will be under Indian Navy, which will be under the shipping corporation of India, which will be under the DG shipping. So we take care of all the projects, whether it is a government project or a semi-government project or a privatized project of all the marine solutions. So this is our first prime company and the second one is uh, SMEC industrial solution. When you talk about industrial solution, there are different type of activities that take care place in an industry. Mainly I could uh, name something like uh, the designing part, the installation part, the supply chain part, the development part as well as the manufacturing part. So SMEC is acting as the system integrator of almost 32 MNC companies inside India. I could name something like uh, Snyder Electric, Siemens, Rexroth Bosch, Warf. These are the main, main companies where I'm with SMEC is acting as a system integrators for all these companies. Okay. Now, uh, when you speak about system integrator, I'll cite an example. For example, if anyone among you, if you are planning to start up a new company of your own, like a startup company you are planning in the field of automation or into instrumentation or an oil and gas plant, the first and foremost venture that you will be planning would be like uh, you want the machineries, right? Like for example, if you won't be requiring a machinery like a PLC of a Snyder or you would be uh, requiring any sort of uh, variable frequency drive, different sorts of products are there of these companies. So when you think about this and when you uh, go for uh, contacting these people, for example, Snyder, they have their, uh, what do you call their, uh, uh, their corporate office would be in Germany. And if you are planning to go with this company, you need not go to this particular German company to buy all the products of Schneider. You can directly contact SMEC as SMEC has the license. We act as the system integrator. We have the license to install. We have the license to export, import all the products which will be related to Schneider Electric. So SMEC will be acting as a platform where which we help the industries for their installation supports. We supply products to them. So which will be helping them like on time supplies will be provided around the clock 25 by 7, 365 days. It will be done by the SMEC CRG engineers. And then we help in the designing of the new new programs for the particular area where in which they, they are planning for inculcating their projects. And we help in the manufacturing. Like I could cite some example where in which SMEC industries have their current projects. For example, with l &D. Currently, we are having a live project with LNT. We have a live project which is running with HMD. And very recently, like two weeks before, we had a project venture which was being si signed up with uh, Hindustan Petroleum as well. It's actually a three-year project. So we take care of all these type of industrial projects. We act as a service provider to the industries inside and outside India. Okay. Now, uh, the third venture which SMEC has started was like SMEC Technologies. SMEC Technologies, when I speak about SMEC Technologies, again another new venture, it was, I could say this as a baby company of SMEC group. SMEC Technologies was initiated in the year 2018 and the prime area where which SMEC Technologies mainly focus is on A, B, C, D. 
So maybe you will be thinking like ABCD is actually the first four letters of English alphabet. You may think that anybody can dance, anybody can do. So all these type of abbreviation you know. But as per the, the current status which is there in the industry, what you call it is, there is a revolution happening in the industry right now. And we call that revolution as industry 4.0. Okay. So under industry 4.0, ABCD, the terminology ABCD means artificial intelligence, big data, cloud computing and data science. So SMEC Technologies is an area or a platform wherein which we mainly focus on the ABCD activities of an industry. See, uh, SMEC Technologies is just not a development company. It's actually, if you look on the, any of the industries, for example, when you go for an embedded company, the embedded system will be purely functioning only, they won't be having only the Raspberry Pi board or Arduino board, nothing. It can be worked only with the help of the latest technologies which will be coming under Python programming or under the Java programming or with an embedded C. So SMEC technology is an area where which the technological part like the software development part which is related to any of the industries we take care of those type of development. For example if an industry is having a particular project which will be going to furnish any of their requirement SMEC will be acting as an agent where which we help them for the development of these softwares. And we do have different other ventures, mainly like uh, the inculcating of the, what do you call the, uh, we call it as, uh, we, we could say it as molding a personality. So molding a personality mainly starts from the age of five, I could say, because I could uh, sell that, uh, see, just an example, it's an added uh, information which everyone could be understanding. Everyone would have uh, heard of the term neophilia and neophobia. These are the two terms which commonly a person will be uh, underlying with. Every person with an age limit from 5 to 15, they undergo, uh, they will be undergoing with a uh, platform which is being known as neo uh, neophilia. Neophilia, the term neophilia would be known as uh, like the urge of a personality to learn something. Okay. So, uh, like from the age of 5, we always will be thinking that anything which is coming across before us, Either we call up our parents or our uncle or aunt or our friends and we have a tendency to learn, learn new, new things which is coming across us. And at the age of 15, when the hormonal growth happens with any, every personal, what we tend to do is that this neophilia inside every mind of a person will be turning to a new criteria which is being known as neophobia. Like the fear to learn new things. When we have something in front of me at present, I have a fear to learn this particular thing. Maybe it would be some, something simply better, but the main problem which I will be having in front of that is that if I ask this, whether that will be a problem, whether my parents or my friends or uh, my relatives, they'll be, some, uh, they'll be thinking about uh, something like, uh, will that be degrading me? That is the main, uh, main uh, mindset which the, most of the people around us will be having. So SMEC, what we are doing is like we have another platform which is known as SMEC Robotics, where was the future lies in the robotics. So, for the students from the standard like 5th to 12th, SMEC have a different section known as SMEC Robotics wherein which we train the students on the terms of S robotics team. Because everyone would be knowing that by 2022, it's nothing would be there except uh, augmented reality, virtual re reality and artificial intelligence. So, by 2022, artificial intelligence would be ruling all among us. So to inculcate the students who is there right now in the in their classrooms, from their classroom itself, we give them training on the new technology or the new era on robotics and that pl platform is being known as SMEC Robotics. And then we have another platform known as SMEC Fintech, which will be catering to the technological development which is happening in the financial sector of the world, uh, mainly like the what will be the happening which is there in the wealth management side, material management side, production planning, financials and controlling all these things will be taken care by the SMEC FinTech group. And last when I speak about SMEC labs, see uh, actually I have a lot to speak about SMEC labs to be frank, but SMEC labs was again a new, uh, it, it's actually not a new venture. SMEC Labs was an area which was being introduced in the year 2001. So when we started in 2001, it was actually an area where in which our company CRG engineers can come to this SMEC Labs and it was actually meant as a R&D division for SMEC Automation Private Limited Company. R&D means research and development wing for the SMEC Automation Private Limited Company. So when a new CRG engineers join in SMEC Labs, what we do is like we don't take directly them to for the on-job training. 
because every person you might be knowing like if you ask your parents of or your friends or any of your uh, cousin brothers or uh, sisters like 15 years before when a person newly joins in a company they won't be directly taken to the platform where the job is happening there will be like minimum a three months training would be happening or a six months training would be happening and these three months or six months training it will be like two types of training are there one is called as a off job training and the second will be called as an on job training the off job training is something where in which before taking you to the particular project in a classroom you will be trained on the technologies and trends which is happening in the industry that is known as off job training and then post getting this off job training you will be taken directly to the project and in the project you will be having a buddy pair where in which the buddy pair will be treat, uh, training you regarding the process and policies regarding the company and that is known as on job training so this off job training and on job training were the two things which was happening earlier like 15 years before so smec labs was an area which was been meant as the off job training for the crg engineers of smec automation private limited and this was initiated in the year 2001 and it was quite successful that most of the engineers who have joined with SMEC, they first has underdog, undertaken an off-job training in SMEC automation and uh, in the SMEC labs platform. And in the year 2004, okay, in the year 2004, what happened was that most of our client companies, they started approaching us for this sort of off-job training, which we were providing. Like I could say like HMT, LNT, Baba Atomic Research Center and even in the Indian Navy, some of the projects from the Indian Navy, these officials started coming for a corporate trading with SMEC labs. So we started giving training uh, with the like, for example, if a person is who is working as a PLC engineer, when they come for a corporate training with us, we give them training on the latest trends and technology which is happening in the PLCs. Like we give them training on the hardware part, we give them training on the architect part. We give them a training on the ladder logic programming, functional block programming, then the protocols, whatever be the sort that is being uh, coming under the PLC, all these platform will be giving a training for these sort of engineers. So this sort of engineering, this sort of corporate trainings has started building in SMEC labs in from the year 2004. Then by 2006, it is actually a company will be growing, a company will be renowned only with the name that if at all only the profit thing is happening or the turnover is happening, the company will not be renewing. There is some social responsibility that a company has to take care of. So this social responsibility, what the directors of SMEC, what they undertaken was, we started giving this training to the engineering aspirants of India. So from the year 2006, we made a plan that the people who are coming out of engineering, like people who are coming out of their B.Tech or either B.E. or M.Tech or M.E., we will be acting as a finishing school for these people if they are interested for a core job so these people post their engineering they started coming to us after the year 2006 after their engineering these people started coming to us and we act as a finishing school and we provide an off job training for a period of three months or six months time for them and during this three months or six months of training they undertake like they undertake a hands-on hands -on experience of all these type of training and they gain a particular knowledge like which is keen which is clearly required for their platform for example uh, i could say like a person who is more willing uh, coming from a mechanical engineering background and if he is willing to work with an oil and gas plant the technology which is prevailing with the oil and gas plant he will be having a three months of training on the oil and gas piping designing on the quality assurance and quality control part as well as on the non-destructive part we give them a hands-on training over here so SMEC labs when it was initiated in the 2006 we had only one single platform and uh, it was actually undertaken only in Cochin and we were at the time of initiation we had only two training programs with us mainly like industrial automation and then an oil and gas plant training these were the two training uh, methods which we were following in the year 2006 but right now when I I am in front of all of you. I am very much privileged and glad to announce that right now SMEC labs, they have their training uh, section, which is very well available with almost 27 centers inside India. And mainly, it's not only in Kerala, we mainly focus with the most of the industrial portions in India. I could name like Andheri, Thane, Visakhapatnam, Bangalore, Mangalore. Chennai, Coimbatore, Nagarkoil, Trivandrum, Calicut, Pune and Hyderabad. The, most of the industrial area, we provide this SMEC labs option to all of the, all of our customers. 
and it's not like uh, we just give them a training we give them a training along with the training we provide them with an affiliated certification and along with the affiliated certification we help them there in their placements as well it's not like a hundred percentage of a placement guarantee that we are offering but it's some sort like we assist them on the placements as currently smec automation private limited is being associated with almost 862 plus companies around inside india as well as outside india so smec labs is an area where which you could find exactly what is your caliber and go into the core industry where we both like the smec industry along with our platform will act as a common area where which we will be helping them to inculcate your knowledge as well as uh, we help them to bridge and uh, we act as a bridge between the industry as well as